important to, to think of scabies in any widespread rash that a baby presents with because they present much differently than in uh, older adolescents and adults. So the older kids might have just a few bumps in the creases of their fingers, kind of more typical what you think for uh, where the burrows of scabies are. But infants with scabies will have um, really widespread rashes with lots of different lesion types. They'll have a lot of urticarial lesions, papular lesions, also, um, also nodular lesions are very common with babies in the armpits and on the trunk. So it's important to consider that diagnosis in any, any kid with that widespread rash. Uh, it's a much more dirty looking rash than very, um, not very monomorphous. So make sure to consider that. Um, babies with scabies, uh, it's, very, it's often missed. They come to me often from the ER because they, um, the ER docs didn't recognize it. And it's not uncommon for other people in the family not to have rashes in, with babies. Um, that have scabies, so don't use that as a criteria for diagnosis. Scabies is, is characterized by being a very itchy rash, and in older kids, we always think of itch as our primary criteria, but for infants with scabies, that's not always the case. The younger the kid, um, the less they're able to manifest the itch in a way that we recognize. So they may just be squirmy or fussy, not, not eating well, um, not sleeping well, and that's how they'll manifest it, not as typical uh, scratching that you'll see in, in older kids. Standard treatment for scabies in infants is going to be uh, permethrin cream. It's FDA approved for two months and above, so uh, almost every kid is going to fall into that category. Make sure that you treat babies from head to toe because they can get scalp lesions. Once your hair comes in, you don't tend to get the scalp lesions. Make sure to get under the fingernails of older kids and make sure to treat all family members, even if they're not demonstrating any symptoms. It's really important because that baby had to get scabies from somebody and you may not know where it came from. So make sure to treat all the family members uh, with the permethrin cream. Also use some topical corticosteroid to help them uh, speed up the, uh, the rash improvement and then also to help them with the itching symptoms. So if you have a solid six week old that has um, you know, they're healthy, they're thriving, they're over 10 pounds. I have no problem using the um, permethrin in that age range either. It's actually pretty uncommon to have it younger than that just because it takes a while for the, the scabies to manifest itself. So even if they were exposed the day after they were born, it would take several weeks for them to develop enough rash um, to make the scabies evident. I have not seen any side effects from permethrin. In the, in the literature, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of uh, scare or kind of hype around development of leukemias in association with the use of permethrin. So in all of those cases, they were industrial exposures where they're like massive amounts of permethrins in, um, in, in agricultural business, not, uh, not in typical uses. The uh, older kids are institutional cases, so if you're over 15 kilograms, you can use ivermectin, uh, but we really reserve that for those kind of special cases where the permethrin cream is not uh, effective or, or um, where you have many people that you need to treat.